Welcome to the podcast. I'm Ben. I'm May. And I'm Max. And we were had. Can you believe it? <laughs> there are twists and there are turns. Defleshed is a standard deck. <laughs> oh, that's fun. We were had. We were. This podcast brought to you by Bunny Coffee. Yeah, it is. Bunny Coffee. Always only 100% single origin coffees, no BS blends. From Oaxaca. Are you mm. impressed that I knew is how that to how you pronounce, pronounce that? that? Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, exactly that's right. <laughs> that's yeah. impressive. Um, the ad read told us exactly how to pronounce it, but thank you. There was a transliteration there was. in the we were, ad read. We were had listeners get 10% off with the code uh, bunnycoffee.com backslash WWH10. Wow, and experience high elevation premium Oaxacan coffee at its best. Oaxaca. Oaxacan <laughs> coffee. <laughs> At its best. We've got here Single Origin Sierra Norte, which is just one of the many options. Yes. <laughs> and you know what? Their current featured coffee producer, Enrique Lopez. You know him. Oh, everybody oh, knows him. Man. <laughs> He's of Finca Chalene, the farm. You know this one. Um, it's known for its innovative natural processes and its cocaine mill in the back. Beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, something to think about. Something to think about. Support local business. Support we were had by a box of the coffee. Yes, which I have now turned away from the camera. So <laughs> y- there you go. Bunny coffee backslash WWH10. Thank you. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> she snuck in a finger gun really I quick. Like, I, 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 I like licked my lips for some <laughs> reason. I don't know. That was <laughs> sick. Okay. Um, how's everybody doing? Not bad. I'm still hungover from Sunday. Me too. I'm, I'm so still hungover. tired. I'm still hungover. <laughs> I'll never be the same. My body's broken. So that would mean you were hungover from Sunday night. Until? And today is Tuesday. Today that's is not terrible. That's not bad. That's, no. that's reasonable. I definitely have like an emotional hangover. Well, that nightmare put me. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's right. This before we begin. Yeah, before we begin. I was sleeping in the same room as Max when we were at Rogue Island Comedy Festival, which I'm wearing the shirt. Yeah. And <laughs> Max at about four in the morning. No, it wouldn't have been. We went to bed at four in the morning. So at yeah. about, let's say, eight in the morning, yeah. I hear a, I mean- I'm sorry to use this. It was a whimper. It was a whimper. It wasn't a yell. It was. It <laughs> I was, can feel it. It was an effeminate whimper. <laughs> you got to get that adjective. Yeah, in but there like a little, not really like a little girl. <laughs> like not. It wasn't a grown woman. <laughs> I, like I want to because I was an in. Adult so woman. I was in the next room over, closed door, separate room, and could hear you whimpering. Let me tell you something. It was a bone chilling nightmare. <laughs> It must have been. It was terrible. I, and you were suffering. It yeah. was like, it was like an animal it was, suffering. It was yeah. a day after a hangover night terror. Classic <laughs> classic thing that happens to us all. Let me tell you, I already told you what it goes, but I'll tell the guests. Uh, the guests. The the viewers <laughs> what happened. I get into a yellow cab in New York City, money making Manhattan, and driving it is an old man, and there's also an old woman behind him. And I don't like the cut of their jib from the from the start. To be clear, this is in the dream. This is the dream. No, it's a real thing that happened. You're gonna fuck Wizard of Oz us and just reveal it at the end. (laughs) So I'm there with Toto. And (laughs) anyway, long story short, these fuckers they drug me and then they chase me through the streets. I run into a comedian that won't be named that didn't help me. This is It was Mark Norman. It was Mark (laughs) Norman. I bump into Mark. You're allowed to out him in a dream. dream. He didn't help me. He didn't help me. I I I am holding it against him. (laughs) Well, I can't. I can totally believe that it didn't help you. It didn't help me. Oh yeah. I'm like passing out, and he's like, he's pointing to somebody. He's like, help him. <laughs> <laughs> he couldn't either. So you're passing out. So I'm passing out. This old woman's chasing me through the streets, and by chasing, she's very quiet. Uh, slow. She's like very old. slow. It's slow and old. Does she have a walker? No, she's just like slow and old okay. and steady. But she's steady. <laughs> she's steady. <laughs> so I pass out, and I come to finally, and I think I'm safe. And then last second. Around the corner comes the old woman with a syringe ready to get me. And I wake up fucking yelling because it was terrifying. You know what it is? is, And she's kind of over me with the syringe trying to get it into me. And you know what in a dream when you can't fight? It's even more yes. embarrassing when it's against an elderly woman. Because <laughs> right. I couldn't overpower her. She really had my number. Yes. She really had my number. I couldn't get a lick in. Let me tell you that. <laughs> it is so funny to think about trying to fight in your dreams and you're just like, I couldn't do it. Yeah, I was like, uh, <laughs> I could, I could barely move. She was fucking, she was tossing me around. <laughs> I got ragdolled by this seventy-eight-year-old woman. <laughs> I wish I could recreate the noise. I, I, I don't want to try because I feel like I'll butcher it. No, also I don't want to try because it sounds like sexual. Oh, <laughs> did it sound sexual to you? I was like, uh. <laughs> I can't even. Try. I think you was. It was more like. <laughs> 
I don't think it sounded sexual. <laughs> Felt like I was there. I think I think at one point I, you woke me up with your moaning. And... Yeah, oh no! I mean, I was in the ro- I was up within seconds. <laughs> but I either thought about su- saying this or I did say this. But I think I was like, "Are you? Is everything okay?" I thought like everything was, in was the not room. okay. I was being attacked. I definitely checked in, and it kind of I was sort of half asleep when the moaning began. So you were kind of giving me. You were sort of transferring a nightmare to me for a yeah. little while. Yeah. Because there was some moaning. By it was the transitive weird... property, it's also your nightmare. It was our nightmare. It was our nightmare. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when we're roommates, wow. it's our nightmare. But yeah, the fest was fun. Everybody was a great time. Wonderful festival. We are so hungover. No, God, it's not I'm never okay. drinking again. I'll drink tomorrow probably. Uh, the building, the original venue was burned down famously, we mentioned in our last podcast mm-hmm. episode. And then after we performed, burned down again. Am I right? <laughs> hey, come on. Yeah, we all did fine. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I did like serviceable both shows. That's how I felt. I felt <laughs> like I was I was there and no one said, oh, why is that guy there? Uh, but no one, yeah. but also no one was like that guy. Yeah. <laughs> it, was, it was somewhere in between. I think that's the trade off for the humiliating nightmare is I actually had pretty good sets. <laughs> yes, Max did great. Max did great. I didn't see his first set, but his second set was fantastic. My first set was a fucking train wreck. It was also the sun was shining in my eyes. It was like five o'clock in the afternoon. Oh, yeah, that's that true. Yeah, that yeah. Just so people know, I wanted to reassure May that her first set was not as bad as she made it out to be, but May refuses to allow both Max and I in a room. She made me where, leave the building. Where she is performing comedy. <laughs> Well, this is my problem with it, is that you guys have heard my corny-ass jokes 50,000 times. Of course. It's just embarrassing Yeah, but if me. they're not good the first time, it doesn't matter how many times you hear them. <laughs> Whatever. Oh, I want to be God. in the room for th- that exact scenario where you're like, oh, I did terribly, I bombed, and I could be like, what are you talking about? No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah. But in that moment, you know I was full of shit because I was in Timbuktu. <laughs> <you know? laughs> Whatever. Anyway, All right. Shall we get, get to into the, the topic? Yes. Yes. Let me tell you something. I have something to blame this nightmare on. And let me tell you what it is. Mercury is in retrograde. So what does this mean? <laughs> what is this? That's a good question by an idiot. Uh, really? So- <laughs> really? <laughs> so I have a lot of research here. I've really hit the books. Um, and the, 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 the whole point of this episode is figuring out if Mercury in retrograde actually affects people. Because you, you've all heard all the stories and the stuff. Here's the thing. Is I'm not an astrology girly, but when I when Mercury is in retrograde, I live with no consequences. Okay, mm. and nothing is my fault, and that's something I'm I'm a full blown astrology believer when that happens. Mm. You know, I like that. Well, it's just today, it's it's done tomorrow. By the way, June second, it ends today. We're filming this on on June first. Tomorrow, it's done. But today, I just went the the wrong direction on the train. Tell me, Mercury didn't do that. <laughs> Wait, it it's not. Oh, it is done tomorrow. It's done tomorrow. Okay, you know when God. I feel I that felt way? Off. Yeah, I felt off. Uh, <laughs> And you know by why? off, I mean I've been bombing my dick off <laughs> for. I really have been. Like, I can't I've been believe Mercury's been in retrograde for three years. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it's the exact same thing, but you know, in daylight savings, the one where you get the extra hour, so it's yeah. like it goes from I don't know two to three, and then back to two to three. That hour, that uh, no holds barred on that hour. There's that no hour doesn't literally. It doesn't count. There's no rules. You oh, can do it's whatever crazy. you want. It's a yeah. purge. You exactly. <laughs> That's, That's right. how I've been treating it. No? That's, That's yeah. a perch. <laughs> no one's caught you because it doesn't right. exist. Yeah, exactly. Total left turn. But have you ever awake like bet- betwixt three and four twilight hours or whatever it's called? All, like the, all the time, constantly. But is it not? It's it's not real. It doesn't feel doesn't like it's feel real, real time. Yeah, it feels like you're in like some sort of upside down. I've been watching Stranger Things. Oh yeah, season, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's too scary. <laughs> three really to four. Scary. Is it only weird. gets scarier. We watched the, like the first episode together in, in Newport, and it was too scary. Yeah, it's really scary. Yeah, we it didn't used to be this scary. No, it, it felt like when we were walking in Newport at three in the morning or four in the morning, it felt like a, you, you said it, a movie set. It, yeah. It, it didn't feel. It doesn't feel right. Especially yeah. on the water, too. It's yeah. Oh, yeah. Water, water is never really? good. There's always I mean, a rolling fog. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you were there during a new moon? Oh. I was blackout drunk the entire time. I don't remember <laughs> I am not kidding. I don't remember walking home whatsoever. May didn't remember yeah. full-blown conversations that she was the star. <laughs> it wasn't even conversation. She was having monologues that she didn't remember. <laughs> We left the front door of the house open. Did we? Yeah. It was a jar. It happens. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> All right. Okay. So let's get a little intro here for the Mercury Retrograde stuff. This is from The Atlantic. Heard of it? Yes. Uh, great, great, great magazine. Uh, you've probably heard some version of the line, usually delivered with a sigh, someone is having a crappy day, or they're in a weird mood, or nothing seems to be going right, despite their best efforts, and they've laid the blame on Mercury, the smallest planet in our solar system, nearest to the sun. It's Mercury's fault. The darn thing is in retrograde. And in fact, 
It's happening right now. Mm-hmm. Oh no! Thanks, Atlantic. That's Mercury, the smallest planet. Pretty. Apparently, it's fuck also you, shrinking. Fuck you, Mercury. Yeah, fuck you, Mercury. It's very nice, uh, though, isn't it? Pretty. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> the belief that Mercury, in particular, can have some prickly effects is a fairly recent development, starting around the 1980s, according to a recent Harper's Bazaar deep dive on the topic, mm. and it achieved its modern-day meme-like quality in the past decade. A story that involves, of all things, Taylor Swift complaining about Mercury's supposed astrological chaos in an MTV clip from 2014. Huh. I actually sent the meme if you want to yeah. see it. She's like, "Yeah." Well, the quote is: "Everything is going to be completely wrong and messed up and miscommunicated. Your phone will break, or you'll send a text message and it won't get to the person it's supposed to go to." Swift explained. MTV promoted the video on social media with a GIF flashing bright, glitchy colors behind a short, looping clip of Swift's of Swift saying, "Hella in retrograde." There it is. <laughs> Look at wow, it. she looks so young. She invented this. She invented Mercury in retrograde. <laughs> but it does sound like it's a more recent thing than I realized. It is. It's a, tw- it's a 20th, 20th century thing. That's so, interesting. I thought like a- astronomy was just set in stone from the fucking... Yeah, I'll tell you right now, this next sentence addresses exactly that. Okay. Although Mercury retrograde has been observed for as long as people have been looking up at the sky, it wasn't until the 20th century that the phenomenon became an explanation for things that go wrong. Mm-hmm. What the hell is retrograde? What does that mean? Ah, all right. <laughs> That's what we're getting into. So this is from LiveScience.com. The cool. facts. <laughs> Hit them with the facts. <laughs> is that their slogan? <laughs> yeah, Live Science. Hit them with the facts. <laughs> then it's because facts don't care about your feelings. <laughs> yeah. it's Alex Jones' new endeavor. <laughs> LiveScience.com. Uh, <laughs> So, for people of the astrological persuasion, few planetary trends are as noteworthy as Mercury in retrograde. As the solar system's smallest planet appears to reverse through the sky, you'll hear it blamed for a wealth of frustrating situations, including overspending on new purchases, poorly planned work pitches, and unimpressive first dates. The common astrological advice for people during Mercury retrograde is to avoid starting anything new and to focus instead on reassessment, mimicking the way the planet appears to be retracing its own movements. Oh, hmm. Okay. I once dated a witch famously during Mercury in retrograde. Yeah, and she famously did a tarot reading on you and then decided that she never wanted to see you again. Yeah, she, she told <laughs> is me that I, true? She told me I had the devil in me. She needed a tarot reading? <laughs> <laughs> It's also extremely we, on brand that you would date a witch or oh, somebody who yeah. like genuinely believes that they're there a witch. There were so many crystals. She was a singer in a punk band oh, too. Oh, come on. It was, huh. a, it was a fun month. <laughs> it was just a month. It was just a month oh. and like we had like a lovely date in the park and she was like, I brought my card. Should I do yeah. a reading? <laughs> so and weird. I was like, so fun. That's so quirky of us. And then it, we, like, it was like silly. We were having fun and it gets the last card which is like, the, like it's like you. Like It's like yeah. what's inside. Mm-hmm. It's like overarching. We interpret it a lot of ways and she, and she pulls the devil and I was like, Ooh, that can't be good. <laughs> and yeah. I was giggling but she was like upset. <laughs> it's a randomized deck of cards. Like no, 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 no. She's a witch. <laughs> See, She's a witch. I believe in astronomy stuff way more than witchcraft. Tarot, yeah, like tarot. No, maybe not even witchcraft. Like specifically tarot readings, because I'm like that's just like a, the luck of a draw of a fucking deck of cards. But what's astrology? I mean, astrology. At least like the planets are moving. You could be more in lot like science. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> fair enough. Like I- your period is you know off when the moon is wherever the fuck or my whatever. period's <laughs> never off first like that, of all. <laughs> with that i could understand like you feel little funky it's like the air is shifting i, or like I don't know enough about it and i know that there are a lot of smart people who do believe in a lot of it but yeah. isn't it based on your birthday i mean that's what makes it so, so there's weird a lot of me. stuff about like your your where the sun was in where the moon was in you know what was high in the sky all that kind of stuff but ironically scientifically and i'm going to get explain it more in detail but like the takeaway for me was that no planet can affect us because the sun and the moon, their gravitational pull on the, nothing's actually scientifically affecting the planet. Mm, okay. But is it? All right. <laughs> sure. So retrograde j- just literally means that it appears to be retracing its steps. Exactly. So it's yeah. like an optical illusion, basically. So my like, okay. my uh, boss is obsessed with this stuff, and she's actually friends with this lady named Susan Miller, who is um, like super famous for this, or whatever. Yeah. And she read my sign. What she read like my chart in front of a bunch of my coworkers, and she's like. What's this about having a really sad childhood? Do you want me to go into that? I was oh like, Oh my God, no. let's not unpack that. I was like, First of all, no, I didn't. So you're wrong. But secondly, not in front of my coworkers. No, like, this is insane. Jesus. <laughs> Looks like in college you did a lot of blow. Do you want to go over that here? I'm like, Okay, well, I'm a white woman in fucking Rhode Island for college. Looks yeah. like you hate your coworkers. Yeah. <laughs> 
at the end of this, we should all pull up exactly what our moon, sun, oh and, yeah, and I actually, the I have stars. Whatever. The I have the coast. <laughs> admittedly, I have the coast star so app. Do I. During it's great, right? It's great. I love the daily messages. It. They're so absurd. Is that the one that gives you a few words or terms of the day? That no, are... no, it messages you some just unhinged sentence once a day. <laughs> it's just absolutely absurd. Can you give me an example? Yeah, I, I'll read today's because it's every single day. I'm like, what are you? T- <laughs> <laughs> It's literally like uh, it's like don't go to the go don't go to the market today, <laughs> or it's like very vague. So <laughs> I like vague. So today I'll read the last few. Um, today's was shake this world up. <laughs> Yesterday okay. was you don't need to be good, you need to be whole. Whole <laughs> with a W. <laughs> so, yeah, I, yeah, you need to be a whole for them. Can I be good and whole? <laughs> Sunday <With a> W. <laughs> yeah. Sunday, I got this one, and this was Jung. At 10.53 a.m., it said, try not to snitch on yourself. <laughs> what? On yourself? I don't know. I don't know. That's so funny. Uh, this one was, was, I guess it was motivating me for hate speech. Friday, 11.00 <laughs> a.m., to tolerate everyone is to tolerate no one. To tolerate? <laughs> Wait. I get it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Your sets this weekend now make sense. Yeah. <laughs> I used to have, do, or do you guys know the one, The Pattern? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. So I had that one, and there's like these little chat forums on it, and mm-hmm. some, and like during the height of uh, the election, people were like, "Don't bother argue with people when they don't want to listen to your side." Like it's like talking to a brick wall or whatever. It was like some like thing yeah. or whatever. And then all these people were like, "Yeah, totally." Like I would never talk to a Trump supporter, like or a Taurus. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, okay, what are we doing here? But like these people are crazy. They'll believe in anything. Yeah. Anyway, Pisces have to go to hell. <laughs> <laughs> All of them. I'm a Pisces. Take it back. (laughs) (laughs) I am actually friends with mostly Pisces. Is Jess a Pisces? Yep. I felt it when I met her. Mm -hmm. Pisces February? Uh, Pisces February. And Mm -hmm. a little bit of March. And a little bit of March. Because I'm late Feb. Yeah, and my brother is early March, and I get along really well with him. Uh, Is that a thing? Pisces. Yeah, Cancer Pisces Pisces are like best friends. Are you a Pisces? Irish is a Pisces. Oh, Irish is a Pisces? Uh, All right. I got a clock. You're an Aries, huh? Mm -hmm. I see you as an Aries because you're very much a doer. Thank you. Look at we're Thank like you. we don't really believe in it, and then we're like, so you, I'm Aquarius rising. You're Aquarius rising. So I'm, <laughs> are you Aquarius rising? I think so. Me too. Oh, we're in the same club. Are you in our club? I don't know what my regular sign is, let alone rising. What's your birthday? My birthday is Hitler's birthday, April twenty. So oh, I right. hope astrology is completely <laughs> yeah. Not true. That means you hate the Jews. <laughs> um, I April twentieth, which I believe is first day of Taurus. Is that right? Oh, April nineteenth, so last day of Aries. Yeah, you're on the cusp, definitely. I think it's the 21st that starts the Taurus season. Oh, so, so maybe might, I'm with you. you. Might be I might be Aries. Aries with you. Is okay. Ben a doer? Uh, no, not at all, actually. I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> He's never done a damn thing in his life. Um, there is one app. I thought it was CoStar, but I guess it's a different one. Maybe we could, uh, <laughs> are we over it? Uh, I'm not. It's so true. <laughs> so funny. Well, I guess being an asshole is part of being Aquarius Rising. Uh, <laughs> I um I think it is <laughs> <laughs> probably. Yeah. There's some app, I guess it's not CoStar that gives you it's an astrology thing that gives you the do's and don'ts and it just terms underneath it, but they make no sense. Mm. Rachel had the app. So it was like do's, like candle, <laughs> fixture, uh what? hilarity, yeah. don'ts. Uh, web feet. <laughs> <laughs> <Web's> feet. <laughs> it's it is the craziest thing I've ever seen. That's I'm gonna great. ask you what the name of the app is, but I think that a is lot of the people Co-Star have it. App. You is just it have to scroll down a Actually, little bit? Like, yeah, yeah. I'll, yeah, I'll, yeah. I'll, Let me go into the app. I'm. I, have my I think chart it's here. do's and don'ts, or Updates. yes or no, something. Today I don't shake up this world. Well, that, <laughs> yeah, so I got to shake up this world. I have trouble with routine today, that, mm. and that makes sense. I didn't do a dick and thing. I went to Equinox, <laughs> and then I watched Stranger Things. Okay, that's routine. Uh, I do have, but I'm not a doer. <laughs> yeah, do this. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I don't know where it says do and don't. Is that not is that not a thing? Eh, not sure. I They're... have a power and self respect today, which is why I won't accept your hate. <laughs> <laughs> and also charisma. Really? Are you making that up? <laughs> no, it says charisma. Oh, okay. <laughs> There's no way. <laughs> no, 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 that can't be right. I'm having trouble with stress, and can I tell you that I've never felt less stressed today. Wow. Oh, I, I, that's what I. That's mine. Stressed today. I was so stressed today. You're stressed today, huh? I'm convinced that that's why I'm thick around the middle. Cortisol levels. Mm. Is that a thing? Yes. I think so, yeah. Yeah. It's hard to lose weight specifically in your stomach. During? During stress. stress. Ugh. Mm. Is this, it's, uh, that makes you more stressed. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 
it's a cycle. No, you don't it's fucking terrible. think I know. That's Always ridiculous. a cycle. Yeah. Always a cycle. All right, let's get back to the, the research. So um, astronomers tend to disagree with uh, the associations of like the re- like the, the, the planets moving backwards. You should reassess everything. Mm-hmm. Uh, the quote is, the idea that the gravity from these very distant bodies affect our lives in some way just doesn't work in the framework of physics, said Jean-Luc Margot, a planetary astronomer and professor at UCLA. Sounds like a real negative Nelly. Uh, <laughs> finding the facts about Mercury's retrograde motion is complicated because it's both a real and imaginated phenomenon. So all the planets rotate around the sun in the same direction, and that never changes, Marco said. However, if a person were able to trace Mercury's position during retrograde, which is a challenge because the sun blocks our view, they'd end up with a line that changes direction. The term retrograde in this mm. instance refers to a perceived reversal in the standard west to east movement of Mercury through the stars. So it's an, it's an illusion, like you said. It's yeah. not even really happening. So put more plainly, pretend you're Earth watching the Mercury run around a track. As it runs its loop, it will start out moving from the left side of the, your field of vision to your right. Then it rounds the corner and although not moving backward, is now running from right to left. Oh, cool, because it's all oh. relative. Yeah. Because Mercury is so much closer to the sun. <laughs> we get it. You're a tutor. Uh, this, no, you're explaining <laughs> I'm, try- I'm helping you, buddy. <laughs> He's actually backing me up, and I'm nagging him. Oh, yeah, yeah Ben, yeah. do you like what I'm saying? Uh, That's the only thing he does, so. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so this analogy is oversimplified because it doesn't take into account the fact that Earth is always moving, but it gives a good idea of how this optical illusion plays out. Mars apparent retrograde motion is the most obvious of the retrogrades because people can easily view Mars in the night sky as it is the closest planet, and unlike Mercury and Venus, doesn't require a person to look at the sun in order to observe it. Jeff Chester, a spokesman for the U.S. Naval Observatory, wrote in an email to Live Science, quote, there is nothing unusual in this. Mercury is no exception. There is no story here. Which is like classic government denial. You know what I mean? Yeah, right. Three short sentences. Might as well just be like the planets are trying to fuck us. You know? (laughs) Yeah. Uh, All right. So science, pretty steadfastly, Mm -hmm. not into it. You want to hear what the astronomy girlies have to say for everything? Oh, yeah, I love Let's that. Let's get That's into fun. it. That's fun. So here's from Country Living. I've got some supposed symptoms of retrograde really laid out for you. So some astrologers believe it can lead to fallings out with friends, you oh, fucking no. assholes. Hey. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> How often does it happen, by the way? Uh, about three times a year. It's Feels like, like it always. It happens a lot because Mercury moves real, real fast. So three times a year for was last a day, two days. No. It's actually like a few weeks, like a few, uh, like oh, that's a, yeah. that's a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. That's why these last. It's not, it's not your fault. You know what I mean? That's it's actually it's actually not stress. It's the opposite of stress for me. It's backing me up mentally because I'm like actually like I get a free pass for three weeks. You know? Of course, right. I think that's how it works for most people, right? Yeah, yeah. Is it? Anyway. Yeah. Yeah. I think it works yeah. as no, like, like. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. No, no, no. It's like I, I don't blame me for the fact that I just. <laughs> murdered someone. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, and that's not murder's not one of them. Or like not hitting my quota. I'm like they can't sign the paperwork. It's yeah, Mercury. That's retrograde. actually that's very much. Retrograde. Oh, that one's yeah. right, and I'm yeah. wrong. Got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. That's all. That's actually <laughs> retrograde. That you'd be wrong a lot. Uh, <laughs> so back to the symptoms: travel, logic, and communications get disrupted. And me- emails getting lost. Flights being delayed. Other misfortune. Just as other misfortune. Thanks, thanks, <laughs> thanks, country living. Brain fog, anxiety, confusions around work projects, headaches, and miscommunication. Oh, yeah. Mm. So let's get to the specific this year. So this one, May, has been the last couple of weeks. It's ending, like I said, June 2nd. So May 2022, Mercury retrograde. It started on May 10th in Gemini, and it's ending on uh, June 2nd in Gemini. Does it affect Gemini's more then in that case? So or I'll no? tell you what the Gemini effect is. The next one is September until okay. October. It's what like is September 9th in Libra and ending October okay. 2nd in Libra. Um, okay. Sorry, what were you saying? I was going to say, what is Gemini? Like a point in a chart? Gemini, I, 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 this one I don't know. Like okay. Gemini, Gemini in front of in, the star system? No, or? Gemini is in like at the time of year. So I think oh, the season I of see, Gemini. See. Got right? it. Ah, yeah. okay, that does make sense. So, so is that, is Taurus a season or that's yeah. different? So like the... April 21st or whatever it is through May, whatever is Taurus season. Got it. Okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, cool. So what was this one? It was in Gemini. What was this one supposed to do to us? So according to Daisy Foss, an international healer, the upcoming or now ending retrograde will occur under Mercury's ruling sign of Gemini, intensifying any desires for freedom or to explore. Speaking to PsychicWorld.com, Daisy said, quote, the energy of Gemini is very flirty, romantic, and clever. Always seeing two sides to everything. However, combined with the broken cycle of its ruling planet and retrograde, these two weeks can be emotionally chaotic. Hmm. 
Were you feeling any emotion? I, let me tell you something. I wasn't exactly fucking. By that, <laughs> that I mean not at all during that. Two weeks. That's <laughs> very sexy <laughs> retrograde. I, I often feel a lot of the symptoms that you said. I, it's very sexually hard. chaotic, emotional. Sexually, <laughs> yes, right, sexually chaotic. <laughs> yeah, no, I missed that one. But uh, <laughs> but the fog and the anxiety and the I mean, come on. That's, Ooh, uh, yeah. yeah. It's tough to when you're mentally ill to also have Mercury, Mercury and being retrograde. Because oh, yeah. it's like, what is it? Which one? Right. Uh, I haven't. I haven't actually have been having less of those breathing issue panic attacks because of retrograde. I guess so. <laughs> Knocked your heart in, or ah, breathing stuff's tough. But the breathing yeah. stuff I don't like. I know. Mm-hmm. Anyway, you didn't have it over the weekend. Yeah, she did. No, I did. Oh, yeah, she did. Bar, she turned yeah. to us. Yeah, she goes, I'm yeah. having the breathing stuff. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that. I remember that. Out of no, the only person have... who doesn't remember it is me. <laughs> <laughs> I either have long COVID, which is definitely a possibility, yeah, for sure. or um, I have panic attacks once every few days. Which is also very possible. Yeah. <laughs> very possible. <laughs> These are both real possibilities. And good for you for having them spread. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so according to Daisy, Mercury being in retrograde could cause huge, th- the specific one, could have caused huge relationship challenges such as cheating, betrayal, or loss of intimacy. Uh, she says, as this planet appears to Whoa. retreat, it may feel like it's all going wrong in your love life, at life, li- love life as you bring up issues and arguments from the past. Mm-hmm. Bummer. Any trouble in paradise with Rachel? When we moved in. Oh, but that's, that's a, a good, good thing. thing. Yeah. yeah. They actually specifically say you shouldn't do like new things like that. <laughs> but I wouldn't read into it. Mm. They're like, literally, don't move. <laughs> don't buy a car. Did you buy a car? <laughs> no, I, I broke a car. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, see something that's, going wrong. You're having a real retrograde retrograde. Uh, yeah, you said it, buddy. I, uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's what they call it. <laughs> um, yeah, no. So, okay, so relationship stuff is tough. You feel foggy. You yeah. feel off. You, you feel, feel off. off you've, but you also feel like emotionally kind of chaotic during mm-hmm. this specific one. But uh, I mean, other than that, it's like technology stuff, like yeah. communication stuff. So the reason why it's like so tied to communication, Mercury, the Roman god, is the messenger god. So that's why oh, it's very oh, much yeah. tied with communication. That's Hermes. Fun. Uh, Hermes is the Greek version. Yes. There he is. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, I love how the Roman and the Greek gods were literally just the same with different They just gave them a different, different name. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's yeah. just, it's identical. Uh, okay, so let's talk about the cause from the other side, the, the, um, the astronomy perspective. So Mercury is known as the planet that rules all communication, BC astro- uh, BC-based astrologist uh, Georgia Nichols explained. This means that when Mercury appears retrograde, people may experience communications issues, problems with technology, or even things like lost mail. Nichols huh. says Mercury retrograde occurs around three times a year. When it happens, things get buggered up. This may mean if you're meeting a friend for coffee, you go to the wrong cafe. or you. Experience, oh, hey, you, today. I just took the wrong train. Wow, this is crazy. Yeah. Or you experience minor car troubles, like a flat tire or hitting a pothole or, or human you, body. Or human <laughs> body. <laughs> <laughs> We're still not sure which one it was. Uh, ben ran over a man and then kept driving. I didn't <laughs> run over a man. <laughs> I did keep driving. Could have been a woman. You don't know. Could you didn't look. Woman. You're right. <laughs> it was so sad, literally. So I kept driving, which is a very bad thing. I, I should have stopped. Um, but uh, I hit what must have been construction or a pothole or something like that. But it was a very dark conversation afterwards to like try to figure it out and be like, well, a human skull couldn't possibly right. make this big I of mean, a dent. What was it, titanium plant? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Inflated? Uh, all right. So um, since technology is also affected by Mercury retrograde, Nichols says you may have internet problems or issues with your cell phone. Let me tell you, on the train yesterday, no internet. Mm. Um <laughs> Yeah, it's spooky. <laughs> uh, Amtrak should be fucking sued. <laughs> By the planets. They no, should... it's not their fault. Isn't that yeah, the whole point? Yeah. Yeah. Amtrak is... Oh, uh... Whose side are you on? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so Mercury retrograde can also bring up things from your past. Quote, you run into exes and old friends, Nichols explained. Hmm. According to Dan Falk. Wait, when did it start? Uh, May 10th. I ran into a old friend from high school and college twice in back-to-back days in different neighborhoods. Oh. That's weird. I hadn't seen him in a long time. You are having a textbook. Textbook. <laughs> Retrograde. <laughs> textbook. It's it's insane. Uh, so according <laughs> to this guy, a science journalist and author of The Science of Shakespeare, the idea that Mercury retrograde can affect people's lives is nonsense. Uh, Nichols agrees that the planets do not affect our behavior. Only the sun and moon do, she said, but still maintains that when Mercury re- appears retrograde, people notice. While she cannot explain it, she says some people may be more sensitive to events or are more firm believers in ast- or are more firm believers in astrology. Mm-hmm. So to back this up, so here's the, the, the ideas for and against based on whether or not you believe me. <laughs> okay. I I recognize the stupidity, but uh, my old roommate Casey, who you know, we were just in, she was in with us in Rhode Island this weekend. Um, we watched. Ha- was like who? Who? <laughs> Casey, 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 Casey. Uh, so years ago, 
uh, we watched The Haunting of Hill House together. Okay. Uh, yeah. And a very spooky, scary show. Yes. It's a very ghost-based sure. program. Um, <laughs> uh, we watched it before bed every night for like one week. Oh my God, yes. I remember the show. Yeah. This was a good show. It was a great show. The woman in the... In the white the dress. The bent neck lady? Yeah. yeah. Bent- I'm familiar with her work. <laughs> I know who you're talking about. <laughs> uh, so we watched this, and then for the rest of our lease, which was like a year and a half after this, we were convinced that our apartment was fully haunted. And we also had experiences that could be haunting. I had a, I had a sleep paralysis <laughs> demon grab my shoulder, but I also am prone to that sometimes. Like did, once you, in- <laughs> did you make a noise when it happened? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like, uh, yeah. <laughs> you probably were. That was it. You just did a great imitation of yourself. <laughs> Imagine I'm not having a nightmare. I'm just <laughs> doing the voices. <laughs> You're just fully jerking off right next to Ben. Going, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's what happened. That's what, That's what happened. Hold on. What the fuck does your house being haunted have anything to do with Mercury <laughs> So, the thing that I was saying about that was, if you're really into astrology, here's the thing. Look at what just happened here, is we learned about Mercury in retrograde's effects on things, and then we're like, oh, Ben, like, retrograde affected you. So, it's like, when you, like, think you know about these things, you're looking at it. Like, like when someone in your family buys a Prius, and all you see is Prius, is that right? You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Before, you just weren't looking for it. Right. So, when you know about this stuff, you're looking for it more. I see. So, when I walk into my apartment, and two... um, unattached arms are petting my roommate's dog cannoli mm-hmm. and i walk by and i go hey chris i guess it was chris <laughs> and then i'm walking back out to go to a show yeah i get booked uh i walk by the door there's nobody in the room it's just cannoli and she looks spooked so what does this have to do with uh mercury and retrograde though he's saying that like if you believe in mercury and retrograde you're more likely to have things happen to you that are um got it, consistent got it. Got not it. even got necessarily it. They're, they're gonna happen to you anyway but you're paying attention more when you think there's a reason to be looking out for something so yeah. are you making an argument for it being true or not i'm not true? sure oh because I see I, what you're it saying. made me think yeah. about this because I, I now i'm like thinking back to it with a clearer mind i'm like it probably wasn't true but at the time right it was just like a perfectly timed thing that like whatever um, mirror light yeah. yeah i definitely think it could be like a self-fulfilling prophecy yeah for sure for yeah. sure yeah um but here's what she says so she said quote we all feel Mer- mercury retrograde there is no question some less than others what mercury retrograde is helpful for, so it's helpful for stuff so however is getting old tasks done Nick- nichols said if you've had a home project you've been sitting on for months it's a great time to finish it once and for all even though Nichols says uh, people shouldn't be overly worried about Mercury retrograde, she still advises folks to avoid certain things while the planet is doing its thing. Quote, never buy a car, a truck, or computer. And please, please do not move into with your girlfriend into <laughs> deep Brooklyn. <laughs> That's a mistake. Don't leave Max on the Upper East Side. It said that. That's it's wild. That. That's that wild. That. The I mean, coincidences yeah. in this Would we podcast. call it deep Brooklyn? I don't think I'm going to deep Brooklyn. Okay, whatever makes you sleep on at night. Uh, enjoy it. Uh, hey, are you over there? Do you, what was, was last night I'm your first night? Last night? First, first night? Congratulations. Wow. I miss yeah. you so much. It hurts. <laughs> <laughs> We had our last lunch yesterday. We had our last uh, lunch. We got off the train and we uh, yeah. went to. By the way, did Ben? Did he send you in the right? She, ben is so confidently. We get off the Amtrak <laughs> back at Penn Station, and we're all going to take a subway home. And May starts walking with us and goes. Ben goes. Nah, nah. You're the other way. You're the other way. Your train's that way. We were fully going in the right direction. And, you, we sent you in the wrong way. And, no, I, I actually I got to the right train, but I think I could have gone with you yeah. guys to my train it too. Said it all AC, led the same way. It did all lead the same way. I had just had enough. <laughs> <laughs> and I run it to Max and you're like, where are you going? I was like, Ben told me he doesn't want to hang out with me anymore. <laughs> he told me to jump on the tracks. I guess that's how I get home. He was like, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> it's an arrow. It said A-C-E to go to 8th <laughs> Avenue. I was being a strappy help. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. And the way you said it, you were like, well, I'll Listen, see you later. I guess, Bye. It, yeah, you can't come this way, May. <laughs> You can't, and you don't look back after you walk away. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so good. Um, so here's just a little conclusion paragraph from the Harper's Bazaar deep dive yep. into all of this stuff. <laughs> you got to go out the back window today when we yeah, the studio. You can't come with us out the front. That's how you get. I was those walking with Max, and then we walked in the opposite direction, and we saw signs ACE, and I was just like, huh. <laughs> <laughs> 
That's so funny. Imagine though. that. <laughs> yeah, I guess she could have come this way, huh? <laughs> but it was so peaceful. It was so nice. Just up there, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Not hearing the me, 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 me. It's like, what am I, sleeping? Uh, I wasn't there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, conclusion. So this is from Harper's Bazaar. It feels deeply correct that the history of Mercury retrograde has no single author, that we have so much raw data and no explanation for it. Was it the dawn of email that did it? Or was it the dawn of the age of Aquarius? Is Mercury the messenger <laughs> god simply an automatic star on social media? Or is that kind of logic loop to designed to get us to believe things that aren't true? Hmm. Hmm. Some, some food for thought hmm. before we fuck right off. Okay. Um, honestly, I don't know. It's, 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 it's kind of crazy how good I am at this. You know? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> No, I got I I, I can't decide what I want to say about it, you know, because I wanted to do a silly lighter topic. Yeah. Uh, and, and now then you stumbled on, and now I'm like, did I just <laughs> kind of unearth some sort of conspiracy, you know, <laughs> or also a hoax? I mean, I'll- I think it's fun to believe, and I also think um, there are some specifics. Like I've noticed patterns of people that I, I'm constantly mm. hanging. Like I have no Capricorns in my life. I'm a no Capricorn kind of gal. What month is that? I don't even know. <laughs> Maybe I have tons of Yeah, yeah it's yeah, all yeah, Capricorn. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what month is it Capricorn? Is it let's January? Pop- it might be January. It might be January. Capricorn. Yeah. Yeah, we'll let's, go let's go ahead and dates. pop these dates up for Capricorn all the signs. Capricorn dates is December 22nd to about January 19th. It's yeah, the I don't know sign. any of these fucking broads. You don't know any Cappies? I don't think I know any Cappies. And I've always, 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 um, well, a Virgo or a Pisces I've always dated. Is Alexa Virgo? Uh, no, she's a Gemini. Wow, these are her. These are her close mm-hmm. friends. Delightful people. Oh no, Scorpios. We get along well too. Scorpio. Scorpio is a cool one. I always mm-hmm. felt like, like kind of like the fucking Pisces, like fish. Like <laughs> some people get like a I'm bull. A crab. Yeah, yeah, I got a bull. Right. That makes Taurus sense. Bull, bull. That's right. <laughs> We're rams. Uh, oh rams. wait, I keep Aries thinking I'm Taurus. Okay, got Taurus it. Taurus is a bull. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. But I'm Taurus. not that. Right. right. You're a ram. But you're both anyway. Earth people. Fire. Okay. Fire. Fire. Oh, fire. Right. Yeah. yeah, I would have said that. Yeah, not Earth. Yeah. I'll tell you one of the reasons, other, other than being skeptical in general, I think that one of the reasons why I'm skeptical of this right. is the fact that it was, quote unquote, discovered so right. recently. Right. Because as you said, people have been looking up at the stars and noticing right. planetary movements and all these things for literally, I mean, millennia. So there's two there's two reason, two, two big reasons for that. It's like, it could be because it really affects like technology and stuff a lot, and technology didn't really get advanced in a way that you would notice until... When it originally, and also meme culture, like right. it's like one of those things that it could started right. like. But I'm saying that is part of got, the reason why I can't believe it because it got, why wouldn't you know the ancient Greeks or the yeah. Aztecs or whoever yeah. it is? Well, I also think like people have moved away from religion, and so now they're sort of like, well, I'm a cancer, and that makes me special, oh, and I right. find sure. other people that do right. this, and I don't fuck with you know. Well, think of uh, I mean, it, it exists all the time in all religions, like what All Souls Day, like after All Hallows Eve, the next day, like the, the the plane to the 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 dimension of hell and like souls can cross over and stuff and yeah. that's just like that's straight up Christian <laughs> right, right yeah no it fills a, fills a vacuum of unanswerable questions and yeah. all that stuff no doubt mm-hmm. yeah right that's wild mm-hmm. let me tell you something it's real and I didn't make any mistakes this in these last three which weeks which is surprising <laughs> yeah. considering Mercury's Mercury is in retrograde well that's what I'm saying yeah. no I, a lot of terrible things have done been done by these hands I just wasn't directing them <laughs> right it was it was, it was Mercury yeah <laughs> oh we were at we were oh, had. we were totally had. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Rate, review, I don't know what you want to say. Rate, review. Um, yeah. Right in your... <laughs> yeah. But do, wait, do you guys think... Has it already stopped recording? Um, do you think, like, reading through the attributes of your sign, like the good and the bad, do you think that it oh, my chart, works for you? Oh, my chart's spot on. Mine oh, is, hey. too, but my I guess chart. everybody's would be, well, like... The thing about it, the, the the charts like this, when you put in, like, the time you were born and that kind of stuff, that's when you get the moon and the sun. and Because like, yeah. just Pisces, I don't... that That's too, way too You broad. know when you were it born? It never affects. The time, I mean? Yeah, 5.25 a.m. I think I was also morning, but I don't know exactly Mine's, like, when. 8 something. Yeah. 8 yeah. Like, between 8 o'clock and 8, 10 o'clock in the morning. Mm-hmm. Okay. July 10th. You know, my mom spent like the, the first half of her <laughs> life believing that she was born on Friday the 13th because my, my grandma just always told her that. And then it, she found out like my dad just randomly was like, you know, I was looking at the calendar the other day. You were born on a Wednesday. <laughs> what? Because <laughs> my mom would be like, I was born on Friday the 13th, 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 my lucky number. She always said it like. Oh, that's a, so funny. And he was like, you were born on a Wednesday. And then my grandma goes, huh, I guess I forgot. My- <laughs> 
<laughs> my grandpa, who was born in America in 1910, so I guess part of it is has to do with how old it is. Yeah. When he was in his 50s or 60s, found out he always thought that his birthday was in August. Mm-hmm. He found out that there was something with the documents. His birthday was not only April 8th, yep. but it was like a year and a half earlier. He found out he was a year and a half younger. Oh, that's fine. No. He thought you he get was. an extra year. He had the best day of his life. That's yeah. amazing. Yeah. That's so cool. Oh, and a different I would love sign. to get that. You got a new sign. Oh, that's fun. <laughs> that's fun. So he went from being a Virgo to an Aries? That's so different. Yeah, he changed signs. Wow. And I mean, he found, imagine finding out you're a year younger. That's so great. A year and a half. A year and a half younger, younger basically. Yeah. I mean, look, think of what you do with all oh, that time. Oh, my God. <laughs> year and a half? A year and a half. The amount of progress I've made in the past <laughs> year and a half. A lot of growth. A lot, a lot of growth. Of growth. <laughs> <laughs> He'd have a whole new 15 minutes. <laughs> I wish I had 15. Um, all right. Uh, now I think we, we've been completely had. Come check us out at a show sometimes. Yeah. Possibly Borscht every Saturday at 5.30 at the Tiny Cupboard. Please or do. Tell you what, every single Saturday until we die at 10 p.m. Oh, yeah. at the Tiny Cupboard. <laughs> and write a comment. How yeah. about that? How about that's your, that's your oh, thing to do for the com- day? <laughs> Why are you giving them work? Because I wanted to, no, but I think that if we keep it broad, they're not going to do it, but if we give them a specific assignment, write a little comment, I all it has that. to be is great, love them, that's how, it. How about if they were affected by the retrograde? Oh! oh write in your retrograde story. Write in your retrograde story. <laughs> <laughs> you and these finger guns today. <laughs> <laughs> I'm loopy. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. We were had. Bye. Bye. Bye.